most valuable possession a nation has is the health of its people. A country without a healthy population cannot grow and advance. In most Latin American countries, a shortage of health personnel, especially doctors, and geographic obstacles that make access to remote areas difficult, have created a lack of adequate health assistance for the great number of people. To alleviate this situation, the Universidad del Valle in Cali, Colombia, has developed a health system that incorporates many innovations. One of these is the training of non-medical personnel to perform most of the routine, although important, activities, thus allowing the doctors and graduate nurses to devote more time on serious cases. This system focuses on the health of the mother and child protecting the child during its vital cycle from the very moment it is conceived. Colombia is a country of sharp contrasts and vast resources. Its 22 million inhabitants have the same health problems as the people of other Latin American countries. In 1958, the Universidad del Valle chose Candelaria as the experimental center of training for the personnel that now form a new system of health services. Candelaria, located only 30 kilometers, that is 19 miles away from Cali, has a total rural and urban population of 30,000. Its proximity to the Universidad del Valle made it the ideal spot for the project. Members of the community are in charge of many of the services offered by the system. Over 90% of the population is covered by this health system, which is centrifugal in nature. That is to say, instead of waiting for the patients to come for help, health personnel will visit their homes periodically. In this manner, the home becomes the first level of medical attention for the individual and the family. It's an advantage. I no longer have to take my kids to the center. The aides can visit us instead. Dr. Emilio Aljure, former dean of the health division of the Universidad del Valle, mentions a few of the goals of this system. Among the different educational programs of this university, I'd like to point out our primary interest in research to allow us to identify and measure with precision the problems and resources of health in this area. In the same manner, we would like to collaborate with other health-promoting agencies and institutions in the search of solutions to these problems. We are also dedicated to the training of personnel for the health system, and particularly to make innovations that will increase the efficiency of this training. The efficiency of a health system depends on its personnel. In this case, the system consists of medical students and graduate nurses. They, in turn, are assisted by non-medical personnel, promoters, midwives, and auxiliary nurses. The promoters are two-year volunteers. Young girls from the community who have finished at least their elementary school education and feel motivated to help other members of the community. During these two years, you will not receive any kind of salary. The work is called voluntary because you don't get paid a nickel. After they are selected by the graduate nurse, the girls receive an enabling course, which lasts six to eight weeks. 
and is followed by a period of practical training. The responsibilities of the promoter are to identify pregnancies early in the woman's term, control the growth and nutrition of the child, provide immunization, inform the couple about family planning programs available through the health system, report to the auxiliary nurse the results of the visits, which happen every two months, and finally, collect information about important facts, mobility, and use of health services. The midwives are women from the community who have been performing birth assistance at patients' homes for years. The system has grouped and registered them, keeping an accurate record of their activities. First, the nurse and the auxiliary take a census of midwives to be trained and enrolled in the health team, where they will have to comply with specific rules on childbirth services. The midwives must report the births they have attended within 24 hours. This allows the auxiliary nurse to make her postnatal visit within 48 hours of the birth. Much of the midwife's knowledge has been passed down from mother to daughter for generations. The auxiliary nurse is a very important element in the health system. They are young women with the equivalent of at least two years of high school education who receive a formal 12-month course in a school for medical auxiliaries. The auxiliary nurses train promoters diagnose pregnancies, take care of prenatal control at home, attend medium-risk births at the health center, give instructions on the use of health cards, supervise promoters and midwives, take care of postnatal control, give family planning information and advice, and refer serious cases to the doctor. The unit responsible for the program consists of one doctor and one graduate nurse. They are in charge of programming and supervising the complete system as well as solving the medical and administrative problems sent by the other units. These are some of the many persons responsible for the new health system in Candelaria. People whose goal is to offer better health to the individual, the family, and the community. People with very good reasons to be optimistic about their work. For in the last 10 years, infant mortality in Candelaria has dropped 65%, and contagious diseases have diminished considerably. All of these people function within the following scheme of health service levels, which are house, health post, health center, university hospital. For each one of these levels, there has been assigned the required personnel, the activities to be developed, geographic area and population to be covered, the transferring mechanisms. A valuable tool in the system is the health card, containing the clinical history of each child, growth control, nutrition, immunization instructions, diagnosis and important treatments, 
and identification data. In the near future, this card will include a health calendar and a record for pregnant women. The system emphasizes the health of the pregnant woman and the fetus. It is known that a child born under unhealthy conditions has very few probabilities of survival. The expectant mother, when diagnosed by the promoter, receives in her home the periodic visit of the auxiliary nurse. According to her previous medical history and the development of her pregnancy, the auxiliary nurse will in time determine where the woman will receive her prenatal care and birth assistance. Thus, at the home, the auxiliary will verify pregnancy, classify pregnancy risks, control low-risk pregnancies, referring medium and high-risk pregnancies, take samples for routine tests, instruct on pregnancy, childbirth, and care of the newborn. These services can be given either at the patient's home by the auxiliary nurse and the midwives, at the health center by the auxiliary nurse and the general doctor, or at the hospital by the specialist. The auxiliary nurse also makes recommendations regarding nutritional diets, instructs the woman about necessary hygiene and care of the newly born, and informs her of the importance of family planning. If during one of her visits, the auxiliary nurse encounters a case that is not within her capacity to solve, she refers it to the doctor. Approximately 60% of the births are attended at home by midwives, 35% at the health center, and less than 5% need the care of the specialist. The first year in the life of a child is critical in its struggle for survival. So it is important that the auxiliary nurse visits the home of the new mother within 48 hours after the birth. After assisting in a childbirth, the midwife should inform the auxiliary nurse within a 48-hour period. The auxiliary nurse then examines the mother and the child to see if the midwife has complied with all aspects of the program. The health system covers 90% of the population, so it does have an advantage over the traditional system. It has been possible, therefore, in Candelaria to quickly diagnose, to give an adequate treatment to all serious pregnancy complications, both prenatal and postpartum, and to achieve a significant decrease in maternal death rate. Following childbirth, the auxiliary nurse informs the mother about family planning services, instruction through short-term courses, introduction of method by the health center physician, and continued attention by the auxiliary of the health post. I started on family planning after my fourth child. I didn't know about it before. That's why I had four children in four years. But I was given an appointment and went to a meeting where we heard learn how this family planning was. The new health system, through the promoters and auxiliary nurses, inform the women about the availability of family planning. Now in Candelaria, 90% of the couples know about the program. And 35% are using the method offered. The birth rate has dropped 33% in the last 10 years, and the rate of abortion has diminished 30% since the initiation of the program in 1965. Birth control methods are new things here, and many patients have heard about side effects that may result from their use. Often these patients want to know whether it is true that IUDs cause cancer, produce pain, or become difficult to remove. 
uno que vive tan ocupado es el único recurso que puede efectuarse bien el anillo y por eso vine a hacerle todas esas preguntas. Sí, mi hija, vea. En cuanto a qué es... The auxiliary answers the questions honestly. Removing these fears often by relating examples of other satisfied patients. Women who have used IUDs successfully for years, then desired to bear a child, had them removed, experienced a normal pregnancy, and gave birth to a healthy baby. After the patient is aware of the various available methods, An appointment is made for her with the doctor, who will examine her and recommend the most appropriate contraceptive method for her particular situation. In some cases, too many children may be dangerous for the health of the mother and the stability of the family. Existing services such as schooling, housing, job openings, hospitals, and health services cannot keep up with the ever-increasing population. This is a phenomenon of our times that affects the physical, social, and emotional welfare of the entire family. Well, to me the advantage is that if I have a larger family, I could not have both a place to live, would not have anything, would not be able to dress them. The money I earn would have to divide it among more. It would not be enough to support them. The well-being of the child and the family is the ever-present preoccupation of those who work for the welfare of the community. In addition to the health of the mother, the system places much emphasis on caring for the child. Care of the child during its first five years of life is of utmost importance, considering that 50% of the deaths in Colombia and other Latin American countries occur during this period. From the first time the auxiliary nurse visits the newly born until he is five years old, the child will be visited at home every two months by the promoters and will be sent to the doctor at the health center whenever the conditions require it. On the child's health card, the promoters will note the stage of development at each visit. The promoters will report any deviations to the auxiliary nurse and the doctor will immediately attend to it. At the home, the promoter will guide growth and nutrition, administer immunizations, control diarrheas, instruct on health care, and refer patients when additional attention is required. The promoter will inform the auxiliary nurse of undernourished children. The nurse will then reinforce the need for nutritional education at the family home. The auxiliary nurses educate mothers on the subject of nutritional values and on preparing food for the children. Nutrition is a very important aspect in the development of a child. It has been demonstrated that malnutrition can produce mental retardation. It is important to point out that in Candelaria, severe forms of malnutrition have been eliminated and only some light and moderate cases of retardation appear today. In seven years, malnutrition has dropped from 40% to 20%, an important figure, since a national survey in 1966 revealed that malnutrition affected 50% of the children under five years of age in Colombia. When a child has malnutrition symptoms, the auxiliary nurse refers the case to the doctor. The physician at the health center takes care of the cases by giving the necessary prescriptions and recommendations. When the problem cannot be solved at this level, the physician refers the patient to the hospital. The health card also indicates when the child should receive the immunizations offered by the program. All children are vaccinated against smallpox, tetanus, whooping cough, diphtheria, tuberculosis, and polio.
measles immunization will also be provided in the future. The lives of many children have been saved thanks to preventive immunization. Attention to good dental health is given high importance. This service is performed by the auxiliary nurses. They are able to perform fluoride applications and other treatments previously done only by medical personnel. This is yet another example of how non-professional personnel, properly trained and supervised, can assist in solving important problems. The new health system provides other services for the community, such as epidemiological research for control and treatment of tuberculosis, rabies, malaria, leprosy, and other communicable diseases. In the control of these diseases, techniques are available not only for diagnosis and treatment, but also to raise the resistance level of the population. The system also offers medical and hospital care for school-aged children and for adults as they are needed. Later, innovations will be introduced in the health services given to these groups. Almost 50% of Latin America has sanitation problems. Water used for washing and cooking must be free of bacteria and other microorganisms, which produce gastrointestinal diseases, skin infections, and other illnesses. Good health does not imply only the absence of disease. The World Health Organization describes health as an absolute state of physical, mental, and social well-being. New sanitation measures and innovative health systems, such as the one developed at the Universidad del Valle, are one more step toward the achievement of a better life. The environmental sanitation program in Candelaria includes the construction of water and sewer facilities through community action and government support. The program offers technical assistance and with this system, 98% of the urban homes today have drinking water and sewage services. 10 years ago, this was true for only 40% of the homes. The environmental sanitation program also controls food and garbage disposal and provides education on personal and home hygiene. The quality of any system depends greatly on the preparation of the professionals who will direct it in the future. This is why the Universidad del Valle exposes its medical students to early contacts with the communities where they will be working. A close relationship between the future doctor and the area where his knowledge will be used will produce a higher interest and motivation in the young professional. Among other activities, they also will participate in the training and supervision of midwives. We want to leave this impression with our fellow students so that those who want to work with the community will be motivated and later on when we graduate as doctors we could go on working integrated with the community and not overlooking this reality. We want to leave that impression. The children who are cared for through an integral health program will grow strong and will be able in the future to put their healthy minds and energy to work for the development and welfare of their nation. The Universidad del Valle hopes to obtain the same success in the metropolitan area of Cali and has selected the community of Unión de Vivienda Popular, popular housing union, with 100,000 inhabitants to establish the same system. In this way, it is hoped that similar problems in other Colombian and Latin American areas can be solved.